Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to do the really trending makeup look these days, the clean girl makeup look. First of all, let me explain what I have understood what it means. Um, for me, it does not mean a no makeup makeup look. It means a makeup look that will make you look not very made up, but really nice and polished and you know, very put together. It could mean different things for different people, but for me, it is nothing messy, nothing very colorful. I want to use neutral tones all over my face and I want to look just a better version of myself. I want to enhance the natural features on my face and you know nothing to elaborate and just very simple everyday makeup look that you can wear to your office or college and you know it will just make you look really 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 polished and put together now people have been associating the clean girl makeup look with you know tight back sleek bun or you know um, a ponytail but for me if i want to look polished and put together i would wear my hair down like this so yeah let's get started with today's video and before that if you've not subscribed to my channel already please do like and share my videos also there's a current giveaway going on on my channel which i'll link on the screen above if you haven't checked it out already and yeah let's get started with today's video so I'm going to start with prepping my face I want to have a really nice and hydrated base for you know the rest of the makeup to just glide on top of and look really nice and dewy so I'm going to uh, prime my face with my embryoli slate cream concentrate and I'm taking a pea sized amount of this into my finger and I'm going to just rub it all over my face for a nice hydrated layer Next up for my foundation, I'm mixing in two foundations. Uh, I'm using my Clinique Even Better Glow Foundation and my Guerlain Lingerie De Pop BB Cream. Now the reason I'm mixing these two is again, these two do not match me. This one is a bit darker for me and this one is a bit lighter for me. And both of these are really nice and very, very lightweight foundations. They are more just like, you know, your skin, but better. And I really love these foundations. Also another plus point is both of these have an SPF. This one has an SPF of 15 and this one has an SPF of 30 plus. So these are perfect for an everyday wear and you can definitely wear it for a daytime look as well. I'm going to take just a tiny amount of both of these on the back of my hand. And as you can see, the Clinique one is a bit darker and the Guerlain one is a bit lighter. I'm going to mix the two together for a shade that would better match me and then I'm going to apply it all over my face with my finger first and then blend it out using my beauty sponge. Now let me zoom you guys in to show you just how beautiful and glowy this foundation looks it just looks like my skin but better now next up for the concealer i'm taking my makeup forever ultra hd concealer and i'm going to apply it just in the areas where i need some coverage that is on my under eyes and on the center of my face now I've been seeing around a lot of YouTubers do this on YouTube these days. They just leave the concealer on for a minute or two before they blend it in to give, um, to let it settle and you know give a more fuller coverage with using just lesser product. So I'm going to do just that. I'm going to let this sit for a minute or two before blending it out. And in the meantime, I'm going to quickly go ahead and fill in my brows of the camera. And I'm back. Now let's go ahead and blend in this concealer. Now this concealer is one of my absolute favorites again and it is a beautiful concealer. It blends out like a dream. It's super hydrating on the skin and does not settle too much into your fine lines and gives you a really nice almost a fuller coverage without looking heavy or cakey on the under eyes. And next up to set my concealer I'm taking my Cover FX Matte Setting Powder. And I'm adding just a tiny bit just on my under eyes and the center of my face to set the concealer. Next up for my bronzer, I'm taking my Dior, Dior Skin Nude Air Bronzer in the shade Warm Tan. And I'm going to just add a nice bronze all over my face. It's a really nice glowy bronzer. It will add a really nice and a very natural looking bronze to your face. And I'm also going to take this bronzer all over my eyelid because I'm not going to add any other eyeshadow to the look. Just to define the crease and to you know give a nice contour to the eyelid, I'm taking this bronzer all over my eyelid. And I'm also going to run it along with my lower lash line to add a nice and very natural looking touch of color on the lower lash line. 
नेक्स्ट ऑफ माई ब्लश आई एम टेकिंग माई मेकअप फॉर एवर ब्लश क्रीम इन द शेड नंबर थ्री ट्वेंटी इट्स अ ब्यूटिफुल एंड अ वेरी नेचुरल लुकिंग एंड अ वेरी फ्रेश पिंक इश ब्लश एंड इट्स अ ब्यूटिफुल क्रीम प्रोडक्ट सो यू डो नॉट इवन नीड एन एक्स्ट्रा ब्रश टू अप्लाई इट जस्ट टेक इट विद योर फिंगर और इन माई केस विद अ ब्यूटी स्पॉन्स एंड इट लुक एब्सोलूटली ब्यूटिफुल एंड वेरी फ्रेश वेरी नेचुरल ऑन द फेस And next step to add a tiny bit of a highlight, I'm taking my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, and I'm going to take it out on the back of my hand, just a tiny bit, and I'm going to apply it on all the high points of my face to add that really nice and a very beautiful natural luminous and glow to the face. Now, um, because I have very light eyelashes, and you know I have very short eyelashes, very straight eyelashes, a makeup look cannot be complete for me without a good coating of mascara. So I'm taking my Mac in Extreme Dimension mascara, and I'm going to add, you know, a really good amount of these onto my lashes. And lastly, to finish off the look, I am taking my Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Lip Liner in the shade Iconic Nude, and. and i'm using it to outline my lips and also to fill in my lips this is the perfect um, your lips but better shade for my skin tone and it the formula is really nice very creamy and just glides on like a butter and on top of this i'm going to apply my maybelline lifter gloss in the shade stone now i know these glosses are not yet available in india but i really hope maybelline does launch these glosses in india because they are just beautiful so this again is a beautiful lip gloss it has the right amount of glossiness the right amount of pigment and it smells absolutely divine and lastly to melt everything in i'm taking my pixi rose glow mist and i'm just spritzing my face with this And yeah guys that is it for today's video this is the final finished makeup look this is my take on the clean girl makeup trend that has been going on all around the internet and i really loved doing this video it actually is a very clean makeup look and will make you look really nice and polished and put together and you know just ready for going anywhere and you can pull it off effortlessly and and it also is a makeup look that is universally flattering and it will suit each and every one of you guys i hope you guys enjoy watching my videos if you do please like like and share my videos and do subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next video thank you bye bye